the holder of fortune. Seeker, I am of whom you are now searching. You must realize they shall never be reunited, for the world as we know it depends on you alone. I was like you once, hunting these objects with no clue as to what would happen after my task was done. My courage slowly faded as my journey extended on for years. You must find me, Seeker, for I am still human, still sane, still waiting for someone to replace me or end my life. You must find a bank. Any bank anywhere will do, but only ten minutes before closing. All but one worker will groan at your arrival so close to closing. The content worker is the one you must speak to. Seeker, your gender matters, for if you are male, and the sole worker is male, he will drag you to hell as you approach. The worker must be opposite your gender unless you would rather spend many eternities with Satan. Strike up a jovial conversation pertaining to anything. Make them smile, and soon they will giggle with delight. All workers will leave, leaving you two alone. The conversation will die down, and the worker will become uncomfortable with your presence. Then you must ask to see me, your next holder. The worker will not see this as odd and will take you to the safe. It may be impossibly small or grotesquely large, but you must attain the key. The worker will then escort you outside and will leave after locking the doors. Unlock those doors, seeker, and enter the quiet bank. The shadows you may see will chill you to the bone, as they did to me, but do not dwell on them. They may materialize from your life force. There is nothing like running from something you fear in the dark. I should know, as should you. If you look down, coins litter the floor in lines, and their value is varying. Follow the coins of least value. They will lead you to my door. Use the same key you held earlier to unlock my door. The demons cannot touch me now, and soon, by entering my room, you should be fine. But never forget, they are still close, waiting for you to falter. The past holder of fortune was a morbidly obese man dressed in a lavish suit, eating a feast that would feed armies. He seemed to grow larger with every bite he took, and his suit was stained with excesses of crumbs and drink. The table of which he sat was overflowing with wines and heaps of food I'd rather not describe, for their age showed. He spoke humbly between bites and asked me of my greatest desire. The same question I must ask you, Seeker, with an answer you mustn't provide, for your life depends on it, as did mine. The fat man grinned from ear to ear, and all I remember is sitting at his now empty table, waiting for my life to wane to nothing more than a spark. Upon entering my room, you will see the empty table and me, the newest holder of fortune. I am not dressed in a suit, and will be on the verge of starvation, but still I continue to live miserably. My clothes consist of rags, which may confuse you, but keep your courage strong. I will greet you with a sheepish smile and ask the question that will choose your fate. No words should leave your lips. You will earn my duty. I will smile, as you have earned your next object. Please, take my life 
once you receive it. I beg of you, seeker. Follow the highest value of coins out of the bank quickly. The shadows are now beasts that aren't afraid to touch you. They are hungry. Never return to this bank. Going back will vaporize you, and you will become the new holder of fortune. Please, seeker, you must continue on, for your travels are not even close to over. The object you received is a coin of no worth. It is 407 of 538. Keep it close, seeker. You may need it soon.